Hi, I'm Jim Taylor with Bricksmore Property Group. Here at the center, Marlton Crossing in Marlton, New Jersey, just outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where we took a tired old shopping center, downsized to Burlington to their new prototype, added New Jersey's first ever Sprouts Farmer's Market, as well as a compelling and vibrant mix of local, national, and regional small shop tenants, including Philadelphia's own native sons, Chickie and Pete's, home of the best cheesesteak on the planet. As we often say at Bricksmore, great real estate matters, but great people matter even more. I'd like for you to meet the team that has accomplished so much here in Marlton. My name is Josh Brower. I'm a senior leasing representative with Bricksmore Property Group, and I've been with the company for eight years. The changes that we've made here at Marlton Crossing have been pretty dramatic over the past several years. We've added Sprouts, downsized Burlington, uh, which was accompanied by a full facade renovation of the entire property. Um, and we also took uh, a dated out parcel building that was a Champ Sports and turned it into a Chickies and Pete's, uh, which has been a, a really incredible addition to the shopping center. We're located here at Marlton Crossing, which is at a really important intersection in South Jersey, a uh, suburb of Philadelphia. Uh, at the intersection of Route 73 and Route 70, which is a commuter road in Philadelphia. The site has 45,000 vehicles pass it per day and generates 3.4 million visits per year, which is really strong traffic. I'm Laura Park Carson, Vice President of Leasing at Bricksmore, and I've been with the company for 20 years. Bringing in Chickies and Pete's proved to be a great decision. It's one of their top performing locations and it's afforded us the opportunity to differentiate Marlton Crossing from some of the other retail options in the market. My name is Alvin Sintra. I'm the general manager of Chickies and Pete's in the Marlton location. We are the epitome of a small corner bar concept exaggerated to a bigger scale. The location itself was a dream location for our owner as well as the rest of our team. For us personally, I mean, I think it's an extension of Philadelphia. I think that the community here is so pro Marlton, pro Evesham, that they're so proud to have us in this space. The space itself, uh, as far as geographically, is a no-brainer, but the, the community behind it uh, is a big plus. We are fortunate enough to open this restaurant about three years ago now. We, uh, it was one of, if not the most successful opening in company history. The beautiful thing about this area is that there's a lot of options. Now, with so many options for us to keep seeing the same faces, we're doing something right. Uh, we got to know families, we've gotten to know a bar crowd, we've gotten to know fans, we've gotten to know, you know, folks that walk in and said, I went to high school with Pete. Uh, with that being said, every one of them is treated the same, whether it's the first time or the hundredth time, uh, we take pride in bringing them back. Part of our reimagining of Marlton included thoughts about how to add greater density and add value to our shopping center, at the same time creating opportunity for a host of retailers who might not otherwise be able to find a location in the market. In addition to Chickies and Pete's, we have plans to add an additional two-tenant out parcel to join the lineup here in Marlton. So I think the turning point from a leasing perspective here uh, really started with the addition of Sprouts bringing daily visits to the shopping center. Uh, and that coupled with the brand new facades and the modern look really make it attractive to some of the uh, better brands that we're trying to bring into the shopping center. A real benefit of making the investment that we did in Marlton Crossing uh, is being able to attract some retailers that might not have otherwise come to this site previously. Uh, retailers like Stretch Lab, Lunchbox Wax, uh, Deca Lash, really exciting concepts that are growing uh, and cater to the affluent uh, customer here in Marlton. We've really had a positive reaction from our existing tenants here throughout the process. Um, our tenants have seen an increase in sales. Uh, specifically, the, the restaurants all perform really well. My favorite part of my job is taking an old dilapidated space and breathing new life into it and watching to see how the community reacts and the positive reaction that we get from them. At Bricksmore, we believe the best way of creating value is reinvesting in our older, well-located shopping centers. 
which we are doing across the country. We invite you to learn more about what we're doing at Bricksmore and how we're creating value each and every day.